career. Three minutes? Uh, okay. Into its own here this morning, and perhaps he can find some time. So, uh, it's got about six tenths of a second lead of Jerry Satani. Two Corvettes running at B Street. Uh, and it's ended uh, 3.6 seconds now to uh, Michael Edward. So, Oregon Santani kind of uh, holding down the uh, majority of the competition at B Street, those two hold two trophy positions. if uh, Jerry can uh, find some time on the right side. Left side runs are uh, pretty solid. Right side is where he can find the time, although uh, Lane had some very fast raw times on the right side on Saturday morning that he wasn't able to back up on the afternoon, so we, maybe with the cooler temperatures he could also draw some time. It would be interesting to see how that shakes out. We also have uh, bump class running at the end of uh, shift A. Uh, bump is currently being led by Thomas Watkins. Thomas running down the street with uh, a modified front wheel drive Civic. He's got about uh, five tenths of a index with a Corey Berger. Corey in the ESP Z28. Also running the ESP Z28, Dave Ockburn. Ockburn, uh, 54,000 to be in. looks at the course here Sunday morning trying to get it done trying to get qualified for the David Hederick with a did not stage, so we're gonna get uh, no times for these guys. Hederick does get a very does, does get a decent time on the board, but did not stage 42.805. Also the 44.1 slows down back on that. Slows down on the left for Slenius, but plus plus one on that one. Uh, 43.71 plus one, 7.22 reaction time. Paul Kirk slows down as well with a 45.162, 6.42 reaction time. Kim White and Rochelle Seal, your leaders in L3. Next to finish, Whitener's already dirty on this run, has a plus one. Can Seal it bite into that lead a little bit? No, slows down by about 1.2 seconds, 42.0. For Seelig. Big White with a 43. He slowed down by about 14 feet and the phone. So 44 feet. Shared Everlong slows down by about 2 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 feet. Shared
final trophy position in L3. Slows down by about seven tenths, does two, but Sharon Everline finds some time. 42, 7, 4, 0. His quickest right side time by two tenths. He's starting to get into the fight here in STF. Joe Austin slows down by almost a second with a 44 3 on the left side. 45. So he is going to be next to the finish. It's Kim White from Michigan Seal. Of course, in L3. It's very drifty. Not a lot of grip. Quick. The leaders in L3 out on course getting their uh, last looks at the course here on Sunday morning. As Kurtz and Slaney has come in, Kurtz yeah. back first on the left, 44, 215 and a 549 light, 44, 305, 605 light for uh, Slaney on the right. <laughs> Michelle Seelig, Kim Whitener, next to finish. I think Michelle's going to be back first this time. She is 40.962, still no help for her. Although, and, but Kim does pick up time. 41.351 on the right. Picks up two and a half tenths. She is now extended. Sarah Tooth, Sharon Everline going to be next to finish. Tooth comes back on the left with a 43.668. That's plus one. 42.7. Slow down early for that slalom. Just a little Austin bit where you're David not having Hedrick to jam far on the break. Just get yourself positioned right for that. Survive that. Just, it's no point getting all out of shape there. Just, just survive that area. Now only one. Salinius on the left slows down by about four tenths, 43.7, no help. 44.4 for Kurtz, his fastest right side time by half a second. So he's getting a little bit there. Kurtz out of mineral wells. So uh, not too far of a drive, probably sleeping at home tonight. Obviously sleeping at home tonight, probably sleeping at home all weekend. 
Tim Weiner and Michelle Seelig. Weiner picks up time to the left with a 40.635 in the STC car. 40.635. Two tenths pick up for Michelle or for Kim. Michelle on the right. her quickest by about half a second. Next to finish, Sarah Tooth, she's the line. Tooth back first on the left, half a second. 42-2 on the left side. Upside the shift. 